So today I want to start a new series where I go over the different ways a fire alarm system can be activated. So to start this video series, I'm going to talk about heat detectors. Honestly, I don't think I really have to explain what a heat detector does because I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but just in case, what a heat detector does is it detects heat from a fire so it can put the building fire alarm panel into alarm and that starts the building evacuation process. So the heat detector was actually invented somewhere in the 1890s by a guy named Francis Upton. This makes the heat detector the oldest way of automatically detecting a fire. Heat detectors are actually way more reliable than most smoke detectors, but have a way slower response time than smoke detectors. The two most common type of heat detectors are fixed and rate of rise. Unfortunately, the most common misconception I see is that most people think all fixed heat detectors are one-time use. Although this is most commonly the case with them, this is not true. The difference between rate of rise and fixed temperature detectors is actually the way they sense heat. Fixed temperature heat detectors sense heat at a specific temperature. So for example, let's say the detector was made to go into alarm when it senses heat over 135 degrees Fahrenheit. The heat detector will wait until it reaches 135 degrees Fahrenheit or goes above that level to activate. Because of this, fixed temperature heat detectors actually activate slower than rate of rise detectors. Rate of rise heat detectors look for a fast change in the warming of the air around it. Normally when the detector sees the temperature of the air around it rising 50 15 degrees per minute or more, it will go into alarm. And actually, commonly, you will see fixed temperature detectors and rate of rise detectors as a dual unit, meaning the detector has both technologies combined in one. Now that you've learned about the most common types of heat detectors, let's take a look at some of the other, less common ones. There's the rate compensation heat detector. This detector is very similar to the fixed temperature heat detector, but the big difference is the compensation detector senses for the air around it to rise above a specific temperature. The fixed temperature heat detector senses for the heat detector itself to suppress a specific temperature before going into alarm. This also makes rate compensation detectors have very little thermal lag. Next, let's look at the thermoelectric heat detector. Now this type of heat detector can be a bit complicated, but to put things into basic terms, this detector has a special element in it, and when heat surrounds the detector, the element increases in electrical resistance, putting it into alarm. Since the element is assisted by special circuitry, this type of detector works just like a fixed temperature and rate of rise heat detector at the same time. Now, let's take a look at line type heat detectors. These type of heat detectors detect heat in a linear track. Alright, so this right here is some protector wire type EPC uh, 155 degrees fixed temperature heat detector. And as you can see, this is a line type heat detector. And so what you can actually do is you can run this stuff right across the ceiling, kind of like what I have in this demonstration right now. Exactly like having a spot type heat detector every inch. So if heat from a fire reaches any point along this line, then the fire alarm system would go into alarm. So this kind of heat detector can be very effective. And did you know that there's actually three other types of line heat detectors? There's the line type pneumatic heat detector. This heat detector works by tubing that goes through an area you want protected. The tubing has lots of air in it and pushes against the diaphragm. When heat rises, the air molecules expand, pushing the diaphragm into alarm. There's the sealed pneumatic line type heat detectors. These heat detectors work similar to the normal pneumatic heat detectors. But instead of air inside the tube, there's a special chemical in it that is saturated with hydrogen gas. When the tube is heated, the hydrogen gas gets released. This then increases the pressure in the tube. The tube is monitored by a pressure switch, and when the switch sees an increase in pressure, bingo, the detector goes into alarm. And then there's the ceramic semiconductor line type heat detector. This heat detector works very similar to this stuff. It works usually by a heat sensitive cable that runs through the building. When the cable senses heat, it goes into alarm. Now let's go over some common vocabulary when it comes to these detectors. All automatic fire detectors are specified into two categories. There's spot type and there's line type. An example of a spot type detector would be a rate of rise detector. These kinds of detectors detect fires in one single location. The line type detectors detect fires in multiple areas at once. Now adding on to heat detector vocabulary, we find the word thermal lag. 
Thermal lag is the time in which the air around the heat detector overcomes the alarm temperature, causing the heat detector to go into alarm. Well everyone, that is the video. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.